Hello all, this video is on displaying DHT11 data onto DWIN HMI display. Here we have a 7 inch industrial grade display of 1024 by 600 pixels of capacitive touch. It has got a good uh, uh, frame and it is of industrial grade. The communication ports or uh, CAN bus communication is there, CHCL, RS485, AB uh, communication port and also RS232 port. The supply required is uh, 12 volt 2 ampere. The RS232 pins are G, T2 and R2. As it is industrial grade, it is provided with a good frame. And to access the SD card, you have to open the back frame. And it has got uh, L clamps on uh, top. Top two L clamps are there and bottom two L clamps for uh, easy frame support. You have to uh, loosen these screws to fix the frame on the L clamps. Now let us open the back, uh, back cover to see what is inside. You have to remove these uh, uh, four screws at the end. Total six screws are there. You have to remove that to see inside. Inside at the left hand side corner there is a SD slot. Uh, SD card slot is provided inside and also the connectors to the displays are uh, uh, at the center and it has got a good speaker and all communication port pins are provided with protection diodes at the top you can see the uh, 2032 battery cell holder this is for RTC battery cell the terminals are removable types so you, you can easily remove the terminal connect the wires and then fix it back you can place the 2032 cell for uh, RTC purpose uh, this connector on the right hand side first one is the canvas CHCL and the next one is the RS485 RS485 re represented as A and B you can use RS485 to USB like this for uh, debugging all or RS485 to TTL when you are connecting with the microcontroller. This is for another video. In this video, we will be using this RS232. For this, you need RS232 to TTL. And also, a yeah, DC socket is uh, required. You have to connect this DC socket to the power port pins. That is V and G. And for RS232, you need uh, uh, 9 pin D connector like this either male or female if you are using a female uh, D connector you need a male RS232 to uh, TTL to access the SD card slot you have to open the back cover let us connect the DC socket to the DWIN display the DC socket has got uh, two wires and uh, it can be connected to 12 volt 2 ampere adapter the G wire uh, can be connected to the uh, ground and V to positive. The terminals are easily removable, so you can remove the terminal, plug in the wires, and then uh, plug it. Uh, plug the terminal back. This socket can be plugged to the 12 volt 2 ampere adapter, which acts as a source to the DWIN display. And for communication, we'll be using RS232. So a D connector like this is required. Either a male connector like this can be used and the other side is uh, female RS232 to T. The other type of D connector available is uh, female D connector. For this matching uh, male D connector with uh, TTL pin PCB to be purchased. In this video we will be using male D connector with the uh, DWIN display and uh, female D connector with uh, TTL pins PCB for connection. So the male T connector, if you face the pins towards you, the left hand side pin is pin 1 and the last one is pin 5. Second pin is RX, that is the orange wire we have soldered and the third pin yellow wire we have soldered, that is the TX pin and the last one green wire, fifth pin, that is the ground. For this uh, mating uh, female uh, D connector with the TTL PCB to be purchased separately. This PCB has got uh, 3232 IC, which is capable of 3.3 volt as well as 5 volt uh, logic levels. Let us connect this uh, 
uh, RS232 TL2 DWIN's uh, display. The connection is straight RX2, RX2, TX2, TX2 and ground to ground. Note that it is not reverse, it is uh, straight connection. RX goes to RX2, TX goes to TX2 and ground to ground. And the other end is uh, connected with the uh, Arduino. So this uh, uh, RS232 to TTL requires a power supply. So let us connect the V to 5, 5 volt of Arduino and the ground to ground. Already we have connected the Arduino to a breadboard. So we have taken out the uh, 5 volt rail and ground. We will be using DST11 to measure the humidity and temperature. Ground is connected to ground and supply to 5 volt. The data pin is connected to D8 of Arduino. So this is the connection for uh, DST11 and we have uh, got a, an LED also. LED uh, long terminal is connected to D6. This is for uh, uh, demonstrating the switch on off from the DWIN display. The connection from Arduino to RS232 TTL is also straight. That is D3 RX2, RX of uh, the RS232 board and TX2 TX. It is always straight and uh, not reverse. Please uh, make note of this. Now the connections are ready. Uh, let us open the DGAS software and uh, let us start with the uh, design. Initially, we have got uh, some icons inside a 42 folder and uh, one uh, JPG image. It is uh, note the naming of the images starting from 00, zero and we have got also a uh, .hzk font file. This can be generated from the DG software uh, like this. So this uh, image and uh, font files are ready click on new and then select the resolution as 1024 by 600 and then the path of the project click on ok now click on the plus symbol to add the image go to the project folder where we have stored the images already we have designed this image so the naming of the image should start from 00, zero. this is the welcome image then go to uh, setting and then click on DGAS and click on ICL tool so all images to be created for uh, with the compression tool ICL select the image select this picture we have got only one image and then click on generate ICL now the ICL file is generated store it under dwin underscore set folder as 32.icl name it as 32.icl is automatically provided and then select the icon files icon images and then click again generate icl now store it as 42.icl so the display images are uh, stored as 32.icl and icons as 42.icl no other naming is allowed now the project folder has got uh, uh, all the required files for displaying the data go to text to show and then click on data variable the left hand side first icon is the data variable click on that and draw a box over the uh, humidity data where to display the humidity data at the right hand side uh, you can see the VP address you have to provide VP address for all uh, data variables let us provide variable as uh, 5000 address and color we can select and word bank is 0 font size let us select 40 alignment is center and variable type let us select it as unsigned integer of uh, two bytes and uh, number of uh, integer digits is two this is for humidity data now again for uh, temperature data click on that uh, data variable again and uh, draw a box over this second uh, data box let us provide VP address as uh, 5200 against this VP address only we are going to code so note on this VP address and uh, select the font size and uh, uh, integer unsigned integer uh, variable type as unsigned integer now go to icon display and click on variable icon display draw a 
box on the empty space below the temperature data. Here we are going to show the icon variable for on off. So provide a BP address for this as 5500 and you have to select the icon file as 42 and the first uh, image to display is the off button and the second image is on button that uh, minimum and maximum you have to select the icon and the icon IDs and uh, display mode is transparent now uh, you have to provide incremental data for this so click on the touch control that is against the display you have to provide the touch control and uh, uh, draw a box incremental adjustment select the incremental adjustment and draw a box over this uh, icon click on data auto uploading and then the vp address is same as that of the previous uh, icon we have given that is a 5500 and select integer adjustment method is plus plus adjusting length is one lower limit is zero and uh, upper limit is one and that is the icon is going to vary ac according to on and off click on save and then generate now go to display and then preview you can see the preview image any uh, changes you want you can close uh, double click and close and then change it now we want to change the color of the first uh, data variable go to the vp address uh, 500 and select the color change the color any changes you just go to file and save and again generate now go to the project folder the dwing underscore set folder has got all the required files that is a touch bin file configuration bin file 32.icl 42.icl everything is under the dwing underscore set this is the folder we have to copy onto the sd card the sd card uh, required is uh, 8 or 16 gb sd card micro sd card use a card reader like this plug it to the pc and then first you have to format it format under uh, fat 32 type file uh, type and 4096 bytes other methods will not work click on ok now the format is completed copy the dwin underscore set folder from the project to the sd card now remove the sd card uh, from uh, card reader and plug it onto the dwin display remember to disconnect the power for the dwin display while plugging the sd card now provide the power power back here we are using 12 volt supply provide back the power now you can see the blue screen that is uh, download screen all the files are being downloaded onto the screen the dot hzk that the font file will take some time other files will uh, copy fast now the uh, it will show end remove the power source and then remove the hd card now provide the power source again you can see the project has been downloaded to the dwin display this is the screen we designed and uh, the humidity data on the top and the temperature data at the bottom below that is the touch button on off button to on off the led yes we are not yet uploaded the code it is not working let us see the Arduino code the first one is the dst.h header file is included we are using software serial we create software serial dwin serial object using rx pin 3 and the dx pin as 4 and we uh, define some variables we are using integer yeah, the next video is for float and uh, dst type is uh, dst11 and dst pin is 8 and we start the dst object using that credentials and we declare a char array of uh, nine elements and uh, define the vp addresses temperature is 5200 humidity 5000 switch is 5500 we use only the high byte and we declare two more uh, character arrays for one for temperature writing temperature data other for writing humidity data here we use the 5AFI header and then 05 is the number of bytes and 82 is uh, code for write and temperature address and then the data and uh, under void setup we start the serial begin this is for uh, debugging and dwin serial for writing onto dwin display 
dh dot begin and then we for the led we declare it as a output port and declare it as high initially as we are going to use a low enable relay and a wide loop we read the uh, temperature and humidity data and assign to the variables and uh, uh, and uh, we call the relay switch function for operating the relays and serial dot print is used to display the data onto serial monitor and data ordinal to display for displaying onto uh, uh, DWIN display under this function we change the byte 6 and byte 7 with the actual data already we have declared array of data and uh, we replace with the actual uh, uh, data reading for temperature as well as the humidity and finally we write the 8 bytes of data using the write function dvin uh, serial dot write and then the array and the number of bytes we are going to write 8 bytes of hex data onto the dvin display so that the actual data is displayed onto the dvin display same way for humidity also we read the high byte at uh, position 6 and uh, position 7 low byte we are changing the actual data and then we use the uh, write function to write it on the dvin display so in the array it is a vp address is uh, after the vp address we have got the two uh, one byte of data that is uh, last two bytes one word of data the last two bytes that is uh, where we replace the actual data uh, position 6 and position 7 and for uh, LED on off we call this uh, relay switch function we check for the serial data is available only if serial data is available this function is called again we check for the uh, serial data and if uh, initial uh, data received is 5A that is the header is received then we use the switch case statement and switch to buffer 4 we check for the buffer 4 in case the buffer 4 is uh, 0 x 5 5 that is the vp address only the high byte of vp address we are going to check that is if the buffer 0 is 5a then we use the switch in case statement go to buffer 4 if it is 5 5 then the VP address is verified. It checks the buffer 8 for the data. If it is 1, it will switch on the relay. For switch on, switching on the relay, we give low as we are going to use uh, low enable relay. Here we are used to LED, so LED will be off in this condition. It is reverse. Otherwise, it is on. Now upload the code. Now uh, it is uh, displayed onto the DWIN display. The actual data is displayed on the top humidity data and the bottom temperature data and on off is working on touch led on off is working it is working in reverse as we have given the uh, uh, reverse uh, logic low to on and high to off and this is the dht 11 sensor you rub on that you can change the you can see the variation of humidity and temperature data on the uh, display this is how we display the data onto the dwin display next video is on uh, displaying the float uh, data thank you for watching